I figure it's a good time to go ahead and shoot a video here for the uh, combine. And where it's a better place to start than the uh, this beanhead. I've been talking about this combine in several videos and haven't really done a video on it. Uh, we have been so busy working on repairs of this stuff. Uh, yeah, here's the head. Uh, the hitch is up there. But the uh, slow speed transport kit, the wheels, uh, they're on it. And uh, well, that came off of our 40 footers. This is a 2014 Macdon FD75. And yes, we purchased it second hand. It was a retiring farmer. And he was, they were retiring out, and the, the family was splitting up some things and sold the head. So we got this probably about 15,000 cheaper than any dealer. And uh, we went and looked at it, everything looked good. Uh, except some belts and stuff. Now, one of the belts that was shot was this center belt, which Dad and Gary put in. And the auger's good shape. They've put new uh, cam bearings in it. But this belt over here it had a chunk in it that we didn't see. And unfortunately, we're having to buy that belt as well. And Mac Don really, really could have done a better job of making that end more accessible it's so so simple that thing lays in there but it's just uh pain in the ass if you ever take the belt out of these you think my god that's a big head and you take that belt out and you go holy shit there ain't nothing here but open frame uh sickle in this thing is getting quite a bit of wear you can see these little ledger plates they're getting quite a bit of wear and for some reason the owner he oiled the cutter bar before he put it away it's a damn mess we slid the sickle out replaced all the sections and we're going to slide that in after we get the belt in, you can kind of use them as a handle right now, otherwise they cut your hands off. But a uh, good straight head. Uh, just got a couple things to finish up on it here. ASAP, this puppy will be in action. Again, this is a 35-foot uh, 2014 FD75. And uh, prior to that, we did have a uh, 2014 FD75 40-foot. Now, the reason we downsized is because we sold our 40-footer. It was getting some acres on it. But the 40 foot absolutely does not work in our terraces. And our neighbor has a 35, works a lot better because some of the older bench terraces are called or grass back slopes. Horse set up on 30 foot. You can snake a 30 to 35 and they're pretty good. But you start pushing 40, you can't get around some of the intakes and stuff with a crap. Another reason we went from 40 down to 35 was on the basis of just green stem soybeans. Now I know the 40s combine has more power than the older. Uh, 8120 that we had but you know it, it was about two and a half mile hour heavy green stem soybeans with that other combine I mean it was pushing it now anybody that's been following I did the unveil on this uh, 8240 uh, case combine I've uh, made some comments about it in other videos here so any of my new subscribers if you're kind of more curious about some of the stuff you know ask in the comments below or, or go back and watch some of my uh, almost daily, or I try to do daily, but it hasn't been very good lately, uh, videos, and I'll hopefully you'll get some of your answers. Uh, we uh, kept our cornhead. This is a 4408, and when we went to what we were going to go to this year, we we were thinking of selling this. We were going to go to John Deere. Um, we didn't. Um, the Case Combine's a better combine, and that's one of the things I'm going to talk about in this video today. Um, so if you've been following me, you probably saw us driving around, and like I said, in one of the videos there a while back, I actually did a video on this at the dealer lot, but uh, kind of kept everybody in suspense until it arrived. Anyway, the uh, dealer I got them talking to putting brand new 750-65 R26 rears on this. This does have rear wheel assist, and the uh, customer kept their front tires, so the dealer put brand new 2842s in the front. Again, fire stones. Nice setup. This combine's loaded with options as well, um, but it did have a few hours on it, and if you're seeing some of my feeder house rebuilding videos, that's why. It's because it's got some hours on it, but it's, it's a good clean combine, and we're going to probably try to keep it 10 to 15 years, honestly. Um, or at least that's my goal, because I'm tired of giving money to the CEOs and board of directors of these corporations. Uh, these bearings were out, completely out. The thing wouldn't have ran 20 minutes. Uh, new feeder house chain. We had all the gearbox apart, which I made some clips of. And uh, we put new shafts in it. Uh, new rock trap beater. Basically, this feeder house was gutted, and we've rebuilt it you know, completely through and through. What a nasty job. 
uh, new hydro handle in there and I think I explained in the video that, that thing was like turning to glue if not I'm gonna probably cut this here and then I'm gonna add some clips in and uh, that was an absolute horrible job so I mean I figured 20 minutes put hydro handle in and it'd be like three and a half hours <laughs> So it, uh, anyway, this combine's got the uh, xenon LED lights. It's best lighting package you can get. It's got the uh, header for a, or auger for a 40 foot head, which you have to have for a 35 foot table as well. A 40 foot, 40 foot auger, which I use the term 40 foot because it's ready for up to a 40 foot head. Works a hell of a lot better on 35 foot, especially if you get a grain cart like we're getting. It's it's uh, it's hard to reach over there on the other side. Uh, especially if you only got one side access and you know most carts are sloped up so there's only one side to get to uh, it's got the electric pulled grain tank option and these all come with a, a 410 bushel uh, grain tank and if you're wondering what dealer it came from yes i was in sioux falls south dakota looking at that at the dealership uh, sioux international right there good dealer good guy it's still one of the few dealers i've come across that's uh, privately owned and uh, owned by family versus another corporation which doesn't care anything about anything but getting a new set of titanium golf clubs so you could actually work with them a uh, nice group we've just been through and through this machine uh, new flaps inside um it's just i don't every every it seems like everything on here uh, including filters we probably put thirteen thousand dollars in this combine if you can believe it you can't even see it i mean you even had to put new batteries in it uh, Came out about two days after we got it, and the batteries are flat dead. We had to adjust our axle on it. Um, had to uh, change the filters. There was some little missing hardware on the sides there we had to fix. Uh, you know, we had to put duels on. I mean, just days and days and days of work. And uh, when the trucker was delivering, he broke the mirrors. You know, they did send us some mirrors. And they actually sent us this hydro handle just because they felt bad about the mirrors. But, uh, you know, right there, it took two hours to put them on there. So, yeah. Now the corn head. I uh, did some videos on that the other day. Yeah, the rolls are in. They're all done. Uh, the chains need to go back on. They'll be field ready. The chains have to be timed. And there is a little piece for this head that's uh, it's right here on this thing these right here and that's what I was talking about in the video the other day and what happens is these are on a spring loaded and they'll kick back and it jumps the chain so they came out with these that stick on there and that'll impact it and it's, it will not allow it to uh, jump jump timing on the chains we are going to buy yield 360 uh, the, I, I call them the brooms <laughs> we're going to try it on one row and see if we like it and if we like it, we'll get the rest. And if we don't like it, we can take it back off because I heard there's some fluffing issues. But uh, all the rolls are in, all everything's adjusted. Uh, there's the new rolls. You can see how much more aggressive they are. So what little updates we've done to this head, um, it'll be like the new heads. And one thing I was going to show you guys I found very, very interesting. This is an eight-row corn head. If you get down here... You see that top's rock, it's got that plate around it. And all these, going to the right, all six row units have that. And I get down to these two left row units, it doesn't have them plates. We're going, what the hell is going on with this motherfucker? So we called Case. And Case actually had this thing going down the assembly line. The older models had the plate. Well, they had some wrapping issues. So they came out with a newer model gearbox, which that was one of the changes. They changed that, took those plates off. So as our machine came down the assembly line, oh, we only had six of the old, or we ran out of the old gearboxes. They switched productions on that end of the head, if you can believe that. Now, I don't know if John Deere would have done that. I don't, you know. my argument would be if I had the older plates and it was wrapping, I could say, okay, well, they had the older head. We need a serial number break where they came out with a newer problem. But when half your head's got it and half your head doesn't, it come out of the factory this way. Kind of pisses you off. So, whatever, we've not had any problem with that. Uh, we did all the updates to it that are uh, going to make it the new, new current head coming out, except for those plates that are on this right hand side. Which, if you wanted to, you could go the effort of removing them. 
and uh, we've kept it in good shape but uh, yeah I think it'll work pretty good I, I hope with the modificational kits it'll work well I've actually done a whole video on that combine or that header I mean uh, at the dealer you guys probably saw this combine or saw quite a bit about it and I think it's gonna work out real well for us like I say again we hope this is a machine that we keep for for many years same with the draper same with that corn head uh, I am sick and tired of working on it. I know Dad and Gary are burnt out, beyond burnt out. It is a much better machine than the uh, uh, 8120 that we currently, or we had before this. And we were able to upgrade for very, very few dollars. Uh, absolutely amazing. It took a lot of legwork to get there, but uh, we, you know, we upgraded combines for literally pennies on the dollar. And I'll maybe share some more about my thoughts on financing and stuff on these and how to do some of those things. I'll share some of that in a future video because I know there's some neighbors and things around here that do watch my videos and they're always like, how do they have new equipment? Well, you got to be smart. You got to know your market. You got to know your options. And you got to know where you can place your other machines or your used items for sale. So not like we're multimillionaires. Everybody seems to leave this guy on mine. No, no, we really don't. We, I'm just maybe smarter than they are. If I'm smarter than my neighbor is, but he's uh, pissed off at me because his business plan is to hate me for me being smarter than him, and well, sorry, but fuck you. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, I'll maybe share that all in an upcoming video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there it is. There it's done. It does need to be waxed out and buffed out. I just don't know if I got time to do that before harvest is hitting here. But uh, it's a good looking machine, and you know, we're very, very happy with it. The 50 series. They went to a couple things on the veins. They have these high-speed cameras now, which John Deere's doing too. And you can see your your crop in there, and it'll it's like the new evolution of smart comb one adjusts itself on the go. And they also have a hydraulic plate on the uh, feeder house, along with some other updates. The feeder house on the 50 series, I can see, is the biggest uh, improvement. As far as the other crap, it's frivolous uh, stuff that you probably don't need. Because let's face it, there's still a lot of 2388s out there getting crops out just fine so for us in our size operation i'm more than happy as we picked up a few more acres going into 2019 that's going to work out well now there's other big things in the works around our farm and i'm i'm working as hard as i can to try to draw some of these things in and uh, i'm excited for it so stay tuned add to the suspense you'll be seeing that cart soon and that's combine soon, but more things, uh, more things coming. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I appreciate all the uh, viewers. And I uh, hope you guys uh, keep tuning in and keep subscribing. So I enjoy uh, doing the videos for everybody, except for a couple of uh, local people that seem to have hard ons for it. So anyway, all right, take care, everybody.